Hey guys, welcome back. Glenn with the Old School Millennial, and today I'm gonna to be going over one of my favorite subjects, and that is firewood equipment. So I'm gonna be going over the firewood equipment that I use, uh, in, that I'm using right currently to grow my firewood business, but by no means is this an exhaustive list of all the things that you need to gather firewood. Really, to get started selling firewood, you can use a splitting mall and a chainsaw and really start from there. And then from there, you may you know, decide you wanna get a log splitter, um, you wanna get a couple of other, other things like that, maybe an additional chainsaw. But this is just the list that I use currently and uh, I'm just gonna be going over the different uh, things that I've got and the reasons for it. And uh, so let's get started. So for starters, I have a splitting mall and this is actually my uh, kind of my mini Thor hammer uh, that I use to get uh, logs off of my log splitter. Um, so I keep that close to the log splitter. Um, and then these are some bags uh, that I use to uh, uh, bundle up my firewood. As far as chainsaws go, I've got a MS-180 um, that I use for lemming. And then I have an MS-261. Um, I kind of use that for kind of an all around chainsaw. I also use a 550 XP uh, Mark II. Um, I've done videos on both of these um, if y'all are interested in those chainsaws. Um, and uh, I use a 372, um, this is an XPW. And uh, I use this for bucking up logs, uh, cutting the bigger, bigger stuff. And then I use this gas can. I love this gas can. It's very convenient uh, because it's got my, a chainsaw sharpener that I can keep there and a flat file that I can use um, for, um, for filing the rakers. And then I can keep a scrunch in there as well. Um, it works great. Um, so you got your mixed gas and your bar oil. So these are some of the things that I use whenever I'm cutting. Um, I really like these white ox gloves. They work really good. And then here I've got my wedges. So then I've got a chainsaw sharpener for touching things up. And then another scrunch and a small uh, screwdriver. If I need to make any adjustments um, on one of my chainsaws. And then here I've got a moisture meter. Uh, for checking all the moisture in my firewood uh, before selling it. Just some ear protection, some head protection whenever I'm falling. Of course, you want some chaps. And then I always carry this crate with me whenever I go out uh, cutting. Um, it's got some extra eye protection and then a spencer tape for measuring the logs. And then some extra uh, mixed oil, a funnel, and then I've got an ax for banging wedges. And then in here, I've just got a couple tools, flat file, another scrunch, um, a brush for kind of cleaning off uh, the chainsaws. And then this, uh, these two wrenches um, fit uh, some of my different chainsaws that I carry. And then I've got an extra small screwdriver, a Sharpie for marking my rakers, and then a raker gauge. Um, so yeah, I carry that with me all the time. So these are some of the things that I always throw with me in my truck whenever I'm going to gather firewood. But some of the things that I didn't mention here um, is my tractor, uh, which I use uh, for lifting logs or lifting uh, bigger rounds up to a certain height so I can load, load it and put it on uh, my wood splitter or if I'm uh, taking stuff off my dump trailer um, or, or loading stuff on my dump trailer. Um, it's just a, a force multiplier for me. And then my dump trailer um, I use whenever I'm going to gather a bunch of free firewood and I also use it whenever I'm selling a load of firewood. And then my wood splitter, um, I use uh, an Easton Made Ultra, which is an awesome wood splitter. Um, it works great uh, for 
splitting firewood really fast and it's got a really good cycle time and uh, it's definitely been a, a game changer for me. But yeah, let me know down in the comments, what are your favorite uh, pieces of firewood equipment and what do you guys use? Um, I'd be interested to see what some of you guys are out there using. And I also want to, just want to say thank you guys that are um, subscribing, commenting, uh, liking the videos. Um, I just appreciate all the support. Um, the channel is growing and I just appreciate everybody uh, that's being a part of that. And uh, until next time, you guys, get outside and do something you love. Thanks.